lot of our conservation work involves working with partners, people like tenant farmers for example, uh, and that's very much about finding systems and ways of managing the land that can deliver what the farmer wants in terms of making a living, but also very much caring for the land. So we work with them to develop systems that will really deliver that. It's a medium size Shropshire estate, it's about 4,000 acres, six square miles, and most of it um, we then tenant out to farmers who are making a living for their families on that land and most of them are working in partnership with us to get more than just meals on the table but also do stuff for, for, for the landscape, for wildlife because that's what the Trust's about as a charity. Right. I think I've been a tenant of the Trust for 25 years and uh, we've been working together on various wildlife habitats. <laughs> we were growing potatoes and we needed water. So after about three or four years of discussing various sites, we came to this site here, which is a perfect habitat for various wildlife. So we had a very good contract to come in and um, produce this site and um, obviously it's worked very well. Other of our tenants are also moving in the same direction, working with us. You know, there's space for them to grow a crop and make a profit, but there's space for wildlife as well. So a new partner we've been working with quite a lot is the Arts Council because we find that introducing um, often contemporary art to some of our places is a great way for different people to come and see a place and perhaps see it in a new light. So I've found out recently how many um, exhibitions that have taken place, whether they're temporary, whether they are one day ones or whether they last for a year. Overwhelmingly we're finding that there is a positive reaction. It's brought in new audiences, uh, we've found that people who come and visit have ventured into the mansion. Uh, we have also found that people spend longer um, on their visit. We've had an awful lot of schools, sixth form colleges and universities coming specifically for the exhibition and we're finding that people are travelling further to come and see it. The Eastern Moors is 25 square kilometres that's right on the fringe of Sheffield in the Peak District National Park. Because it's, it has such a, a rich variety of habitats from moorland to woodland to wetland, we have a, a great variety of wildlife on here. It's the first time that both organisations, two big conservation giants, have worked together to actually manage a piece of land. Both organisations have a wealth of expertise. So the National Trust very much lead on the, uh, the people side, managing people in the uplands. They also lead on the archaeology. The RSPB have a wealth of expertise and science behind managing habitats and species together and therefore they lead on the, the more ecological side. So if you pull all that lot together, that makes a pretty formidable partnership. I didn't really know about National Trust, but whenever I started coming to the info shop at Hawksley, I, they introduced me to it and then after that I just started liking it because it's sort of the work I, I, I've wanted to do really. I've got level one in uh, conservation and I'm, like, this, I'm doing level two now and next year I'm doing level three so by then I should have a lot of experience. So. When I like, left school I didn't know what I was going to do at all. Like, I started doing this and qualifications I get from this are going to help me out for the future so that's a good thing for me. But if it weren't for this I won't be doing much now, I don't think. Probably just on the streets, just doing nothing.